I have this thing where if I do anything, it has to be perfect, it has to be aesthetic, everything needs to fall into place, I need to have everything ready, there's always something that has to be bought, done, for me to start. I waited months and months to start filming because I felt like my place wasn't aesthetic enough. Which honestly, it wasn't even that bad. It was, it was pretty nice and aesthetic, I would think. But then I was like making excuses about how there's people around me and I don't feel comfortable and I didn't feel like I was in a safe space, which honestly is valid, but... There you could still find ways to do things and film things that I wanted. And I just didn't do it. And I just finished journaling and I realized that it's better to start something and do something. Even if it's, even if I think it's mediocre, not enough, lazy, not very creative, whatever. It's better to do, do it, just do it, versus nothing at all which I've felt like I've been doing for a while. Just going through the motions, letting life happen to me. And the excuses just have been piling high for months and months and months. Almost a year of excuses and just be frozen. But life keeps happening, even if my actions even if I don't do anything there's always more there's always more that can be done added subtracted there's always going to be more and I just kept waiting and waiting and waiting for a perfect moment to arrive the real Perfect moment is every moment. And I just... When I romanticize the process, I was just talking about humble beginnings and just how, like, you have to start somewhere and documenting that process, I just feel like that would be really beautiful to watch. For myself and see how far I've come and where I'm going and where I am now. I keep myself at a at a high standard, a standard that doesn't exist, a standard that exists on social media only. The perfect everything. And I see the lives of other people and I want mine to look like that and it's not that's not even what theirs looks like (laughs) it's only a fraction of what theirs looks like and so I'm trying to chase something that's not real and no matter what how many steps I go forward and my goals or what I think I, I need to do or want to do I still want more I still feel like there's more that could be done or I it didn't solve all my problems like I thought it would and do I really want to showcase a perfect aesthetic personality everything whatever perfect everything and then have people that watch me think that they have to do that as well and just continue the cycle don't think so also I have allergies so that's why I sound real clogged up I had to breathe it all heavy into this freaking mic (laughs) I find the most peace when I'm completely relaxed or 
and in a meditative state. And that could be literally when I'm doing yoga or meditating, or it's when I'm just present and doing things with attention and just focusing on the moment and not taking anything too seriously. Those are the times where I feel the most at peace and I don't question or criticize or whatever. I just exist and it's just nice. It's just, it's not just nice, it just is. That's how it feels. I always compare my life to Bella for Twilight when Edward loved her. <laughs> and I mean, it's different in the book and in the movie. So in the movie, she just kind of sits at her window, I think. I can't remember, but I think she sits at her window when all the seasons pass. And she's just in the same spot. And in the book, it's just like all the months, like September, you turn the page, October, November, etc. And that's how I feel like I live my life. I have been living my life since I stopped filming. <laughs> Which, well, not since I stopped filming, but since I stopped, like, really trying, I feel like. And I started with making excuses to not create anything anymore. Or I just feel like, I just always, oh my gosh, there's so many times where I just felt like I was never, I'm never enough. And... You know, it's funny because the last video, I was like, I actually edited and I had it all ready, but I didn't like it and I got frustrated. And so I just stopped. But that's ever since then, I just haven't made anything. And that's really sad. And then, I, I mean, yeah, I guess I was in a really bad place mentally. But I feel like creating things would have brought me joy. But, which I did eventually do that towards the end there. Tried to create some things, but it just was never enough. It's never enough. But I try to do stuff before I even try. I am hard on myself. And then when I do try, I just criticize myself as well. It's just a whole line of criticism throughout the whole thing. Um, and I just been having this lingering feeling every day for so long. I'm like, oh, maybe I should, I feel like I should just create something. I should do something for myself creatively, express myself creatively. Express myself, period. And I just don't do it. But it's just a lingering thought. I think about a bunch of stuff before I decide if I'm going to create something or not. I also wonder what's the point because everyone else has already done it but that's the whole comparison thing where if social media didn't exist yes maybe we compare ourselves to the people around us but to the extent of all the details that social media could show you or all these ideas it could put in your face of perfectionism I want to meet those standards and not just be the normal. I always wonder if I'm on the right path because I feel unsatisfied. And I wonder if it's because I need a redirection or if I just need a change of perspective. And maybe it's both. Maybe it's a combination of both. And part of me feels like I just need to start accepting where I am, which is, I mean, that's true. That's always going to be true. I need to always be accepting of where I'm at. But 
Quinn to know if I need a redirection because I'm just trying to chase a new thing to satisfy some hunger that is always there and will never go away. Or if I actually need a redirection because that's more aligned with who I am and what life I want to live. But then that's still the same thing as what I said before. (laughs) Realigning the life I want to live. Is that real or is that just something I'm imagining? Because I see other people living that life. Or I don't see people living that life. And I want that. Well, I know one thing is that I just want to be someone that... I guess maybe I don't need to be an expert, but have a craft of my own, in my own way. Have a craft in my own way that I go to, but maybe I think I think about wanting to make a difference, and that overwhelms me as well because I feel like. I'll never can do I never can do enough to make a difference, but that's not true. And I've seen it. I've done it before. I've done things in my life that impacted other people positively. And I can still do that. And I can do that in my daily life and in creative ways. The person stopping me is myself throughout this whole process. But I'm here now and I'm trying. And that's all you can do. Your best. And wherever you're... Meet myself wherever I'm at. And just stop trying to compare myself to other people. And how they do things. And... I think as long as I'm creating something... That's going to be enough for me. And if it's not, then we'll go, we'll go from there. But right now, I know that's just what I need to do, at least for now.